Welcome or welcome back to Midnight Archives. We journey into the abyss where urban legends breathe, the paranormal beckons, and fear finds its home. Join our community of brave souls by liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. As the midnight hour approaches, the archives await your presence. Let's begin. Welcome, thrill seekers and history buffs, to our journey through the most haunted hotels in the Philippines. Prepare to explore corridors where the past lingers and spirits roam. Join us as we unveil the chilling tales that haunt these historic havens. First on our list is the eerie ruins of the Hyatt Terraces Hotel in Baguio, devastated by the 1990 Luzon earthquake. The spirits of those who perished are said to wander the remains. One of the oldest structures in Baguio, Casa Vallejo has its fair share of ghost stories that almost every ancient institution in the city is infamous for. Before becoming a hotel in the 1920s, Casa Vallejo was a war detention center for German prisoners. Some guests claim to have heard weird noises like moans and sobs in the hotel. Most, however, can only attest that the vibe in the hotel is totally spine-tingling. One thing's for sure though, Casa Vallejo has a haunting beauty unlike any other. Being a historic hotel, Manila Hotel can escape the rumor mill. Among the oldest luxury hotels in the country, Manila Hotel has been around since 1909 and has seen history unfold. During World War II, Japanese troops occupied the hotel. Come 1945, the hotel was burned down. The hotel has seen more fires and deaths since then. A few staff acknowledged the presence of the ghost of a woman who jumped from the 15th floor of the hotel some time ago. Meanwhile, there's also a story wherein lights and aircon would turn on randomly at dawn. The University of the Philippines Diliman has been around for decades, and its students know many spooky stories about their alma mater. Many of its buildings have their respective haunting tales, the university hotel included. Ghost sightings aren't prevalent in the university hotel compared to the other older buildings like the Palma Hall, the Vanguard Building, and the College of Music. Still, there are stories like guests hearing someone take a shower in their bathroom. It isn't creepy until they realize there's no one in the bathroom. If you want to know more haunted places in UP Diliman, check our video. DLSU and University of the Philippines Haunted Stories Philippines Haunted School Series Part 2 Hotel 1611 at the University of Santo Tomas is built on ground steeped in history. From war prisoners to former students, the spirits make their presence known in various university locales. An elegant hotel known for its romantic rooftop restaurant, Vivere Hotel has witnessed quite a few horrific events in the recent past. Specifically, some guests reportedly fell from its high floors. Thankfully, the hotel has since installed safety measures to prevent further incidents. However, some guests reveal that they have seen ghosts roaming around the area. Despite this, Vivere Hotel has received satisfactory reviews from its recent visitors. It sits in a convenient location and provides comfortable amenities. Perhaps this makes up for the potentially creepy experience? A spectacular recreation of a heritage town, Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar holds old Spanish Filipino houses, each with a different story to tell. As such, several guests revealed that they've encountered ghosts around the area. One guest noted that they heard knocking on their bedroom door at midnight. Another reported flickering lights. Thankfully, no serious incidents have happened in the area. Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar may be eerie, but its bewitching charm definitely makes it worth to visit. Famed as one of the most haunted spots in the Philippines, the Diplomat Hotel is a wellspring of spectral stories and otherworldly experiences. Reports abound of unseen children's cries, screams of distress, and ghostly figures without heads fueling its haunted reputation. 
Adventurers have recounted spine-tingling incidents within the hotel's walls. A band of friends, for instance, experienced chilling sensations and unexplained sadness, while others have spotted mysterious figures and heard phantom voices. Lost items found in odd places and fleeting shadows add to the hotel's mystique. Teams of paranormal researchers armed with specialized equipment have scoured the hotel for evidence of the supernatural, focusing on the most storied locations in hopes of capturing voices or images from beyond. The dark chapters of the Diplomat Hotel's history, particularly during the wartime occupation, have given rise to its haunted fame. After serving as a hotel for some time, the untimely death of its manager left it abandoned to ghostly legends. Among the many spirits said to roam its halls, the most notorious is that of a headless priest thought to be Father Ruanio, a casualty of war's cruelty. The Diplomat Hotel's intriguing mix of history and hauntings continues to draw the curious, standing as a monument to both its illustrious and ominous past. Camp John Hay, once a military base established in the early 1900s, has transformed into a picturesque retreat nestled in Baguio City known for its cool climate and relaxing ambience. At 5,000 feet above sea level, the manor at Camp John Hay stands as a luxurious sanctuary, blending the beauty of the surrounding pine trees with modern comforts across its 158 rooms and suites. It offers a range of amenities designed for leisure and indulgence, including gourmet dining, a spa, a gym, and an outdoor bonfire area. Despite its peaceful setting, the camp has a mysterious history, with murder woods rumored to be haunted by the ghosts of fallen soldiers. Although not as infamous for paranormal activities as other locations in the Philippines, the manor at Camp John Hay offers a touch of colonial elegance and serves as an inviting base for those intrigued by Baguio's ghostly legends. Guests can enjoy both the thrill of ghostly tales and the assurance of a tranquil stay in this unique highland haven. For more haunted places in Baguio City, check out our video, Top 10 Most Haunted Places in Baguio City. The Luneta Hotel in Manila, a historic edifice completed in 1919, is a testament to the city's architectural heritage, showcasing French Renaissance architecture with Filipino-stylized faux arts. Designed by Spanish architect engineer Salvador Ferre, it stands opposite the iconic Luneta Rizal Park and has been a silent witness to various historical events, including World War II when it served as a brothel for American soldiers. The hotel also has the distinction of having hosted Dwight Eisenhower before his presidency. After falling into despair and being abandoned in 1987, the Luneta Hotel was meticulously restored and reopened in 2014 complete with a historical marker from the National Historical Commission of the Philippines. Despite its tumultuous past, the hotel now offers 60 modern rooms while retaining its historical charm. It has also been the subject of paranormal speculations with reports of ghostly activities, particularly on its sixth floor which led to a blessing being performed during its restoration. We've traveled through time and tales across the Philippines, visiting 10 hotels where the past is present and spirits whisper the stories of yore. These haunted hotels offer more than a night's stay. They invite you to experience their mysterious world. Dare to visit. Maybe you'll have your own ghost story to tell. Our journey ends for now. But remember, there's always more darkness to explore. If you want more scary stories and mysteries, join our community. Hit that subscribe button and keep uncovering the secrets hiding just beyond what we can see. Until next time, stay curious, stay brave. Good night.